Uh, good afternoon, everyone. You're coming with just a bit of my TV. I'm the country is here once again on the program. Issues are reality. Uh, today, I have with me uh, Comrade Bashir Ashura. Uh, he's a columnist, he's a public affairs analyst, and he is a political affairs analyst also. Uh, I, we will be talking a, about a lot of issues, mainly that affects the choir state, but maybe we will try and digress make it national but Kwara State is a main target and then uh, the first thing we want to talk about here is the grassroots that is um, the local government uh, establishment uh, in the state uh, I think um, there has been a campaign uh, no I mean that has been going on since the uh, uh, since the advent of the administration of Adrama Brazak uh, in 2019. I think I'm trying to give you a background to what the current situation of Kwara State, uh, local government administration in Kwara State. I think in the first six months of uh, Adrama Brazak administration, there was a suspension of the then elected chairmen and chairpersons in the state. And after that, I think they were suspended for six months. I, I can remember there was a statement by the uh, CPS at that point. There was an Idangigrazan interview that they were set to to have um, misused or uh, mishandled uh, the uh, finances of the choir, I mean, of, of the local government administration. And after that, they were suspended for another six months till their tenure expired. But since then, to date, uh, this is all, this five year, I mean, all, four years and counting, we are still here, no elected government. And somebody is saying, was saying that. We are already in the 1,500 days, and the icing on the cake is. But when uh, when the governor Grammar was like won his second term, and then there there has been different news that these people have decamped to the APC. But to the glory of God, none of them actually made anything. They were not uh, they, they were not really active participants in the public political space on the side of Governor Grammar was like. But one thing happened. I think the I'm not so sure about this, but Mr. Bashir Ashura here will probably some statistics for us that one of the suspended chairmen is now the commissioner of local government affairs in the state. I'm not so sure. Allegedly, I think he will be in the right position to talk about that. And also that if the people have mismanaged the fund of the local government, where is the stand? Have they been taken to the EFCC? What uh, what has the government achieved in all of this? And then, as much as you will know that there has been a ruling that any administration in the choir, I mean, in local government except elected chairman is illegal. So we've been dwelling on illegality for one thousand four hundred days in the state, and that is that will be a ba the bane of our uh, conversation uh, this afternoon. You're welcome on the show. Sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Oh, let's start with. Um, the local government. I think you have had an advocacy of what sure. uh, what is happening in our local government. Why have we not had local government chairman and then even can, can supervisory councillors, councillors in, in the political world. So, what can you give us a background? How do you see that? Actually, I'll say I see that as a political maybe vendetta against the opposition party. Against the opposition party again, or against the people of Kwara? Well, firstly, I will say against the opposition party. Then I will say against the poor Fuara state. The people at the grassroots. Okay. If we want to say that, you have this. Somebody will say that somewhere around 2018, 2017, your own government, when the PDP government was in power, you had TIC too. And then, though an election was conducted, some people said they did not like the results, and then your party won everything. What would you say to that? When we say that you actually sowed the seed for what we are saying today, you started it. Oh, well, I would say PTP didn't sow the seed because actually we did we, we, we did the election and we won. Then we those who were given us who, who were given, we told them to go to the court. Okay. Now we have a government in place. The government does not sit well with you. Yeah, uh, the the, uh, the work of the opposition is actually to point out the lapses of the administration. Let's talk about the administration of the Marabizak generally. How would you describe it? Um, if I'm to rate the administration of 
Malam and Brahmana Brazak I was waiting 20 over 100 in the last four years. But some people will disagree with you. Some, some people will say he has, he has performed beyond 100. Because if he has not performed beyond 100, how, what? He's now the chairman of the like, Nigerian Governors Forum. <laughs> yeah, they call me the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum. It is by, it is by zoning. It wasn't by merit. You had a, you have somebody I can call the principal, okay, a politician you admire. Will you say that Bukolasa Raki became the uh, chairman of Nigerians Forum by Zoni? Maybe he doesn't really have anything. Maybe it's just because of Sony. Well, I I don't really have more knowledge about that when Doctor Saraki became the chairman of Nigerian Governors Forum. But that is the height. That is the height. It was the governor of Kara State, then chairman of Nigerian Forum. Will you say that, okay, you are, are you saying that uh, the chairmanship of the Nigerian Nigerian Governors Forum by, by Governor Bukola Saraki was not backed by any achievement. It was, it was just chosen to, it was a free ride for him. Actually, it wasn't a free ride because according to how I so it, 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 it wasn't a free ride for him, though. Okay, okay. Let's do it this way. As a governor, yeah. we have, I mean, you have a lot of ministries to look into. I think the governor of the of the administration has just created a local government, I mean, a I mean, a ministry, like maybe something mineral, solid mineral or something. A lot of things are happening. We have water resources, we have... I mean, economic and national, I mean, and planning and budget planning, we have all of this. What if your government really want to come back? What do you want, want to come back to do? You came, you were swept out in 2019. Again, you were beating Nooks and Crini in 2023. That means the people are enjoying. If you are saying he has not been performing, Will you tell us the angles you think that he has not been performing? Um, I there are a lot there are a lot of angles that many quarants will point out. There are a lot of angles because the mantra of 2019 it was based on Otogeri, which everybody voted for them. In 2023, they climbed on the mantra of Asiwaju. Are you saying that the people of Kara State left their own state to the national government? Yes, because I would say in 2019, let me come back to 2019. In 2019, it was Otoge that they used against the people of Kara. So they were shouting Otoge, Otoge. People really thought maybe they were saying the truth. It was, it was absolutely propaganda. In 2023, they were saying the PDP, they were, they, were, they were campaigning with 16, they wanted to correct the 16 years growth of the PDP, the former administration, which, as a normal Lima like me, I would ask myself, what was really about the rot? What was the rot all about? So you, you are not telling us that the whole 16 years of the previous administration, they didn't do anything in Kwara State. If you if you are saying this and the people listened to them and voted for them, like that means you see, politics is a game of number. I, I believe if, if it's about the people. If you say you have worked, and the people believe you have not worked, and they decide to reside, I mean, decide to be with them, then you have to say your. I mean, you have to tell us your own side of the story. What are your achievements? This government has been doing a lot: recruitment, infrastructural development. Same as PDP as well. You PDP, will say, okay, perform, they said that they have done in four years more than what you've done in 16 years. <laughs> the records are there. PDP records are there. What, what, in fact, okay, I, was even I, I was even trying to check. Maybe I was the one making the mistakes. I was even trying to check that. What has APC government done in Kwara State in their past four okay, years? Okay, I will tell you what they have done. Tanker Bridge. That one. <laughs> and Zipmot <Jeep> Road. <laughs> Our IGR has increased tremendously. A whole lot of that. And the Quara Care, the Quara Care, um, the SK insurance. But well, that shouldn't be the measure for good governance. That we what well, like what the people what we call good governance. Good governance is not an end, it's a means. With the good with the good roads, the people on that side will enjoy it. With the bridge, the people on that side will enjoy yeah. it. They will have it's they have easier access. 
to where they're going. Please, I'm coming. And then with choir care, people will enjoy healthcare the more. With choir learn, that means our education is moving from analog that you left it to digital. So if well, you no wait, analog as well. Like it, what you left for us was chalk and board, white board, white chalk. Well, I believe now everything, everything is, is now. Well, I believe everything is a gradual process, and then it wasn't digital then. Unlike now. And okay, I, we say that. Okay, if the, this government, if, if this government is a government that's what. Okay, the next thing we should do is to digitalize our education. Mm -hmm. That means they are th they are thinking better than your government is doing. No, they they, they are not thinking better than me because I, I I remember there was a time I had conversations with the former commissioner for education, Malambola Jabdullah. So he explained so many roles that their government played during the during their own tenure. Like then the 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 teachers used to collect their salary by hand. So he thought he was the one that brought about the idea of opening bank accounts. So the teachers weren't collecting their salaries with hand in hand. They were collecting it through their bank accounts. Comrade Ashura, Comrade Ashura, you see? When, the, when people say that Obasanjo brought GSM to Nigeria, my own, uh, I mean, other argument is that even being a republic, the republic is just about the size of your state. It's not even up to Nigeria. I mean, it's not even up to Kwanzaa. As far as, if I must tell you, the Republic is not up to Ilori, my landmass. Ilori is bigger than the whole of the Republic. The Republic got GSM before Nigeria. If a person is saying that this is my achievement that brought GSM to you, we will tell you that the Republic got it. Can you tell me one single state government that still pays by hand? That was something that was already sweeping around. It's not, there is no wizardry yeah. about I, that. I know, but bringing about the idea to the state, it means they know what they are doing. Okay, okay. They I will tell you that. Every the child counts. Wait, the they brought okay. about every child counts. Okay. Which, later on, the federal government also adopted it. Okay. What, what, what is it? I, look here. At this point, you were saying, I lived in the lorry, I schooled in the lorry, every child count, all other things. I was a part of it. I enjoyed it. You be, I mean, you be uh, scholarship, everything. I know all this free education and all of those things. But with all this thing, the people said you have to go in 2019. And then you wanted to come back in 2023. They said they're still enjoying this government. That means this government is more popular than you are painting it. It isn't that popular the way people see it. Because there were a lot of electoral practice in 2023 in this and that's the same case that with okay 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 look here if you bring that up we are done with the election the tribunal has made their judgments known and they said as well as well but i is heading to supreme court no have we ever had a winning no it has never happened he's heading there so let us go back to let us come back to choir all right so when we talk about in education aspect like i would rate the previous governments, I will read them one ten over hundred. They did extremely well. They did extremely what well. What were the achievements? The previous government brought about the idea of Kwasu, Kwa State University. In two thousand and nine, right? Yeah. Okay. Now let me tell you one thing. Kwa State was created in nineteen sixty seven. Ikidi State was created in nineteen ninety six. Ikidi State had the state university before Kwa State. 1967 to 1996 is some is somewhere around 30 years, if not more, or almost. So, if a city state that got, I mean, that, that started existing like far off us, got the university before us, then what is the wizardry yeah, around it? That, that's why I have to say the previous governments under PDP, which is what which was under Dr. Saraki and Abu Fatah Ahmed, they were extremely blessing to Kwara State. Okay. Because Kwara has lacked a lot of things in the past. We lacked almost every good thing. You know, under Dr. Saraki, that was when we had about the Shunga farm. Under Dr. Saraki, that was when we had about this post office bridge. Under Megida, that was when we had about this um, the Yalimi bridge and so many other good infrastructures that we had in Kwara State. Where, where is Shunga farm today? You know, the, this government has said that. Um, Amcon has come. They said we need to, like, some people are owing them money. They have now intervened in, 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 on, on behalf of some banks and all those things. And then a lot of people have said that you are from Paranut, yeah, where uh, Shunga Farm is cited. Yes. Would you say that your people are reaping 
any advantage from that sugar farm? Well, we benefited there because even being on our land, it's a benefit. It's, it's a win for us. All right. And we benefited a lot from that Shunga farm. When you see ordinary Lima from Shunga, then you talk to him that how far about this thing, they will tell you more about it. Kwanot benefited a lot for, from it. And even being on our land, it is a win for us. But Kwanot is shouting marginalization. You said you wanted you wanted the governorship, you let me your people, don't let me say you, but your people left the side of the Syracuse and said, Okay, this way these are our town. And now even with the fact that Kwanot had uh, the, what we would say that the star boy of the commissioners in the first, uh, in the first, um, what do we call it? In the first um, uh, tenure, that's the Minister for Work and Transport, you had the SSG. You said you still wanted this thing back. And now, maybe one way or the other, you lost the SSG. Do you think? And then there is no cry from your side. There was a cry that you should get the ministerial slot and then maybe you should get yeah, the chief of sand. Is the, the would you say that your people are enjoying this thing? Maybe the dividends is going it's getting the, to them. The truth, the truth of the matter is that you got a radio station. The, the, day when, the, the, the day when I heard about the SSG issue, so I boxed one of my friends who is in APC. I told him, I said, Can you now see your life? You didn't support our candidates, who is from Coronet, your own child, your 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 own man. In 2019, in no, in 2017, subsequently, we we Kwa were the one that was shouting Kwa not agenda, Kwa not agenda. Sadly, when Utuga came around, they felt like okay, we should support APC since they don't want the Saraki. They they said they don't want the Saraki. Maybe forgetting the advantages and the infrastructure the Saraki's brought to Kwa They wanted to change the government, which is normal. So I boxed that my friend, I told him, I said, Alpha, can, can, can you not see what APC has done to you? They, they've, they, they've taken away their SSG. So it was now like, see, we are suffering, like, we can't just see it out anymore because they promised us governorship in 2020, 2027. I said, who promised the governor in 2027? He said, the excellency has promised them, and that's the negotiation on Ghana. I said, but well, have you forgotten that? As well, even though if anything is going to happen in Kwara State, as well, will be the demand. The, 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 we determine what, what whatever will happen. Don't you think you guys can go to Asiwaju and get it from me? <laughs> I <laughs> the entire one not all the APC. I'm because saying me, the, the as APC. for me, I don't have anything to say about because as for me. Okay, you know what well, like as much as we have APC in Kwara, we have Kwara not APC. APC. If the Kwara Northerners want the slot, you still have to Well, we were given the slot in twenty twenty three now. The PDP gave up gave the But the, the APC slot. hasn't given you before. They haven't given us. So what if you get it from APC? Well, if those in APC, if they get it, me, at my own side, party supremacy. <laughs> well, well, okay, party supremacy, but one, like, you said that your, your people said they don't want Saraki again. What does Saraki do for you? You you are from Northern Coronos too. You are from Coronos. Does Saraki do, does Saraki <laughs> no, do that much for you in Coronos? That Why are you still in the Saraki camp? When your people are saying they don't want him? Like, this, this man is... He, is a blessing to, to to almost every Nigerian, not even Kwara alone, Kwara Kwara State alone. Is a blessing to Nigeria. So as 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 somebody who reasons very well, you know, I will feel like I will check the track records, I will check the backgrounds, I will check how they've performed their leadership style and everything. So I found Saraki so much worthy of being a leader than other people than others, because in terms of handling. The state of fear is doing. You understand the governance absolutely. Okay, let's talk about the economy. I will tell you that in fact, Kwara did not get more money. Yes, than the previous administrations. In um Nigeria, we now get more money. Huh? So in Nigeria, yes, we now we get more money. Yeah. So what would you say to that? Like, if your government was doing fine, why are we getting more money now? When your government is out of power? you know. The reason why I think the major reason why this government is getting more money is that the change of system, like you know, the change of system. Now there is no more subsidy. They've removed the subsidy. They have, they have been getting more money since twenty nineteen. It just jumped. Like, jumped. Like, this this so, jumping so, is is obvious. So, yeah. But it has been like your government was getting but even five, despite, despite, three billion. Despite they the, are now getting they, they were getting four billion, four point five five billion. Despite the fact that their government is getting more money ahead of our own government, 
our government performed extremely well. What, what did you do? do? You see, if what? you say you performed very well, they will ask you, what did you do? That was all the people what did that, like, what, did you, what, what are you like? What are the achievements? We have a lot. The records are there. You very, very audible to the deaf. The like, records are there. Okay, I told you what this government has done. Well. What did your government do? <laughs> you know, right, okay. well, well, Governor Baragosa Saraki was there for eight years. If all you have to show for him is bridge and Kwasu. And then the critics governor will say that he has done a bridge and then he cannot build two universities. Uh, he's doing all those things. He has other plans, innovation ops, official art centers, but all those what things. What is the benefit of those things that he did? Because even when I checked about the Tanger flyover, I found it's just like a waste of resources. Why why would you call it a waste? Like I, Tanger does not that 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 location does not need high bridge uh, overhead bridge. That same location. Like it's just like a waste of resources. I schooled in University of Lauren. I know what we went through, what, we, what I went through. But it, 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 it would have done dualization of the road rather you, than the road no, was like, really like, 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 ex, 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 like expanding yeah. it more, more on, 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 on the both sides. Okay, now this government did. Another one, Oloje Girani, I mean, Oloje Adita side. The road, like, very beautiful expansion, better than what we have been seeing in recent times. Like, if you say they have not performed, that's the road there. <laughs> so, you see, it is the responsibility of every government to do all these things. But me, if they are doing their responsibility, know. okay, if you have a husband, but they are, they if are, a woman has a husband and the husband is feeding her, clothing her, doing all other responsibilities, does, he, does she have to leave the husband's house? You are saying that it's as if you want to snatch my wife. Uh, you have to convince my wife that, okay, I want to do better than your husband is doing. And then if, I, if you have married me before, I will ask you that I was in your house before I came. It's very it, it, simple. It, 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 is, it is human behavior. That's just what I would say. It is human behavior because... When they said they didn't want the Sarakis again, that they wanted to change the government. Don't forget that you were not paying salaries. Sure. Look at, look at how many salaries were not being paid. This government came and started paying. So if that is the only thing, if the people are hungry on the streets, <laughs> how do you convince them to vote for you? They, they, they are still living with the nightmare of that time where they were unable to get their salaries. Like we said before, the allocation that is coming to Kwara State was very, very low. The, go the state government had to generate generate revenue on their own, which this present government is also milking on. Okay. So it wasn't very easy for the previous administration to manage things like that. But despite the fact that it wasn't easy, they still tried their best. But uh, the, the best is not always enough for the people. The best was not even enough. That's why you were kicked well, out. Well, you know, that, no, no, you, you know, that's why we have different political parties. We have civil servants in PDP. We have civil servants in APC. So we can't just say um, people are not happy with the way oh, things do, are Are going. you saying that the, the Quarrel State civil servants want your government to come back when they were not able to get the salaries on time? No, like the, the, the ones in APC within them, the ones in APC within them, they were used against the ones in PDP. So it was just like they used one against the other. Okay, okay. Let's talk about let's say let's say, spend our last moment on this economy. This government will tell you that they are doing fine with the economy. The government of the APC has been there since 2015. 2015. I think up what we say and the federal at the upper level, they believe that they are doing better than your government. You know, you can even, you can even, in the recent time, there was a time um let me check back there was a time one of the former ministers no it wasn't it's even um the nsa um Ribadu, no no Ribadu. okay he was saying their government inherited inherited all the lapses from the previous administration maybe the previous now i now i now i be now i be and, uh, and semantics Lapses. Maybe he meant the PDP. Address. No, he doesn't mean the PDP. He, he, he was talking about the Buhari government. He and never he said Buhari government. Yeah, I, I know. It is speculations. Like even Delalake said it. Maybe sometimes last week he said the last time 
that that Nigeria had the best. That was not the like that was Wale. Um, Wale, Wale, sorry. So he said the last time was during Jonathan's period. You never said Jonathan's period. Is ten years ago? Yes. Now, so we all we all, we all, we, all, we all know where 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 is going to. Okay. All right. I think that's a very good place to leave it, and then I think we'll have you. We'll, the conversation continues. Thank you very much, our viewers. Thank you very much, Comrade Ashura. Yeah, uh, that much. is me. I'm remembering myself. The Comrade is up once again. Our program, issues and reality. We, I, we, I hope when we invite you some other time, you will honor our invitation. Thank you very much, our viewers. Do have a lovely day. I remember myself. The of the country. Ah,